Greetings to three to each and every one. Myself, Nidhi Suvanna, along with the help from my teammates, Tarjini Amin and Riti Varugmala from Simbaisa School of Culinary Arts, Semester 3, looking forward to introduce you to the ethnic group of the Gond tribe. This description is part of our learning under the course of Indian cuisine in which we research about the tribal which are not so known groups of India. To learn in deep about the secluded lifestyle, traditions, norms and customs as well as their cuisine and many more. So let's get started. Gond, group of Aboriginal people of Central and South Central India. They are the largest tribe in India, South Asia and perhaps the world with 9 million people out of which 4 million reside in Central India. They reside in the states of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and Odisha. The majority speak various languages and, in part, mutually unintelligible dialects of Gondi, an unwritten language of the Dravidian family. Some Gond have lost their own languages and speak Hindi, Marathi or Telugu depending on which is dominant in their area. The village council of Gond tribe divides the Gonds into castes called Ahir, the Gowards, Agarya, the blacksmith, Dhuli, the drummers and Pradhan, the bard and the singers. The main occupation of the Gond people is agriculture. Gond tribes are today mainly farmers while some Gond communities have risen to the status of landowners. However, many are landless laborers. Herding cattle is a part of Gond tribe occupation as part of their livelihood. Religion They are highly religious minded tribes of India. The Gond Indian tribes worship Janani or the mother of the creator. They also worship Farsa pain in the form of a nail or a piece of iron chain. Marai the god of plague and other diseases, and Bhimsen, the Hindu god, are also worshipped by the Gonds in India. One unique feature of their beliefs is existence of spirits. Clothing Gond tribes of India have a typical Indian dress culture. Male members in the Gond tribes wear dhoti, long piece of cotton cloth wrapped around the waist passing through the legs. Females wear soft cotton saris along with a choli or blouse. Both men and women wear heavily ornamented silver jewellery brought from professional silversmiths. Women also wear coloured bangles as well as several types of beads including their marriage necklace made of small black beads. They are very fond of making tattoos on your body. Festivals There are several festivals celebrated by the Gondi people such as Akhari, Pola, Jivati, Diwali etc. But Kesla Purjatra and Madai are the two major festivals celebrated by the Gonds tribe of India. At Kesla Purjatra, they worship the snake deity called Nagoba, whose temple is found in the Keslapur village of Indravali, Mandal of Adil Adilabad district. The most famous attraction at the festival is the Gusari dance performed by wearing headgears decorated with peacock feathers along with cotton cloth wrapped around their waist. Smearing ash all over the body is a must-see at the distinctive festivals of Gonds. The other festival celebrated is Madai. During this festival, Gonds made their relatives settled in other parts of India sacrifice of goat beet, the sacred village tree, to appease the tribal goddess is also done. In the night, they enjoy the party or atmosphere with liqueur and dance and tribal music. Dasera is another festival celebrated with the utmost pleasure by the Gonds. Today, they also celebrate other festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi, Holi, Raksha Bandhan with the same enthusiasm as others. Rituals Gond relations with their gods and spirits lie mainly in the hands of priests and individuals with special supernatural powers. The village priest, called as Devri, whose office is usually a hereditary one, performs the sacrifices and rituals for village festivals. Virtually, all aspects of Gond ritual life from greatest festivals to building a new cattle shed are accompanied by sacrifice. The offering depends on the particular deity involved. Certain deities, especially female ones, demand blood sacrifice. Goats, chicken and sometimes male buffaloes and repeatedly in the past humans are the sacrificial victims. Periodically, every 9 or 12 years, the Gond sacrifice a pig to the god Narayan Dev in an important ceremony known as the Laru Kaj.
not all gold rich will require animal sacrifice offerings sometimes include fruits coconuts flowers colored powder and strings food and cuisine the staples of gold diet are two meals locally known as kodo and kutki they are prepared either boiled to a broth or cooked until all the water is evaporated sometimes it is ground and baked into a flat cake millet is eaten three times a day with the broth being preferred for the first two meals and the dry cereal taken with some vegetables in the evening vegetables are either grown in their own farm or collected from the forest along with roots and tubers rice is preferred by many gonds but for the most it is too expensive to purchase as their land is too poor to cultivate it rice remains a dish reserved for feast and festival days most gonds except for those who have adopted the hindu dietary taboos like meat animal sacrifice at ceremonies are regularly consumed and the diet is supplemented by animals hunted in the forest gonds are passionate smokers and grow tobacco for their own consumption they also consume large amounts of liquor distilled from the mahua tree as a part of both religious and social celebrations so with everything we saw and spoke about i conclude this presentation hope you gained adequate amount of knowledge about the beautiful tribal mm-hmm. residents of india thank you for listening patiently to me